Um, I really, you know, when you look at something like this, you just really worry about how it could be used um, by by those on the far right to to stir up hatred. To, yes. to look at this and say, well, here's the justification. This is why, uh, they'll, you know, this will be this will be jumped on um, by those on the on the far right mm. to say, well, there's some justification to our our cause, and and that's 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 concerning. And Unbelievable. This whole segment is everything that is wrong with the mainstream media, and you're going to find it pretty painful to watch. Sky News is now as woke as they come. It's the immediate aftermath of this terrible terrorist attack. And the first thing he mentions is how concerned he is about the far right. And she just sits there nodding along in agreement. He's concerned about the far right, but not concerned that another asylum seeker has murdered people on the streets of Europe. The reporter says ISIS has claimed responsibility, but that doesn't mean anything yet. The old panel insinuates anyone asking what the attacker looks like is a racist. Maybe he was a blue-eyed German called Frank Stoltz, or a Japanese tourist who had a bad mental health day. The tweets claim the stabbings were carried out by an immigrant. Most were from unverified accounts. Several reposted this image, which appears to have been lifted from an incident in 2021. Others refer to the suspect being Arab-looking, despite there being no evidence to back this. A member of the Bundestag, Matthias Helferich, who's affiliated with the right-wing AFD party, added to the barrage of conjecture, tweeting, Your diversity kills. They can all relax with the misinformation hysteria now, because it has been confirmed he is indeed a Syrian refugee who came to Germany in 2022. They have also revealed the refugee camp is only 300 metres away from where the attack took place. A 15-year-old boy has also been arrested, and to top it all off, it was a diversity festival they targeted. Unfortunately, this won't stop the turkeys voting for Christmas. That's how brainwashed they've all become. You couldn't make any of this up. Then you've got this woman, Yasmin Alabaya Brown, saying these attacks are the norm now because of legitimate concerns in Palestine. Oh, well, it's all OK then. This whole broadcast was just disingenuous weasel talk. The questions should have been, why was this man in Germany in the first place? And why do European governments keep actively importing these people? But you're not going to wear any of that here. All you'll hear is just a woke narrative. Just listen to this. IS, ISIS, whatever they're called these days, claiming it's soldier, their words, murdered three at that festival in Germany. Yeah, something terrible events in uh, Germany, and that three people killed, two men aged 67 and 56, and a woman uh, 56 years old, as well as eight people hurt. And of course, you're just reporting there, you're hearing that a, a second arrest uh, has been made. Mm. No, um, uh, no indication yet as to whether that is the suspect. Of course, there was a manhunt uh, launched immediately afterwards, because uh, although one 15-year-old had been arrested, mm there wasn't a clear indication they'd been talking about it and therefore they, they weren't arrested as a suspect, but arrested mm. just to find out what they potentially knew about the attack before it took place. Um, I really, you know, when you look at something like this, you just really worry about how it could be used um, by, by those on the far right to, to stir up hatred. To, yes. to look at this and say, well, here's the justification. This is why uh, they'll, you know, this will be this will be jumped on um, by those on the on the far right mm. to say, well, there's some justification to our our cause, and and that's 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 concerning. And um, no, nobody, you know, there's, you know, ISIS is a terrorist organisation. This is plainly being treated as a terrorist attack, as mm. it should be, and the police and authorities should be able to do their work and bring the perpetrator, you know, mm. whoever it might be, um, to justice. But I do, you know, it is concerning, I think, that potentially the way, you know, this could play out, we've seen the rise of the riots in Germany particularly, mm. uh, but also in this country and across Europe as well. You know, Yasmin, I saw on social media earlier people saying, what did this person look like? Now, were they asking to do a public service so people keep an eye out if they are still at large? Or were they up to no good in asking that question? No, and, and as Theo says, you know, the whole riots thing and how it was instigated. And look, I'm a Muslim, and I could not hate ISIS more mm. than I do, because actually they've hurt and damaged and killed more Muslims than anybody else 
in, uh, that they've targeted. Mm. So I had no com you know, concern about uh, defending them or understanding them or anything, but Theo is absolutely right. Um, how we you know, deal with these crimes, are we saying it's all right? We've had several cases of stabbings recently uh, across Europe, actually here and in Europe. Um, they, you know, the ethnicity didn't matter, the murders mattered. Mm. Are we saying that certain people committing murders are just illogically worse than others committing murders? Mm. If it is ISIS, then I hope they're found. And, you know, they are going to be active. I've, I've always said, because of the legitimate concerns over Palestine, they will be here everywhere. And I think our security services are doing a good job. But I, I so agree with you that there are responsibilities for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. And just because, by the way, Islamic State take responsibility doesn't mean that is truly the case. Who no, knows sometimes they show off. Sometimes they show off, sometimes they take responsibility for something that actually was nothing to do with them.